Hey YouTubers, so today we're going to work on a basic warm-up. So usually if you're starting with our live videos or if you do anything before watching the videos or any kind of training, this is something you can do as a general exercise in terms of just warming up the joints. So usually I start from the neck down, so starting with the head, you're like big yeses, up and down. Then you look left and right, making a big no shape. Then you rotate around, going one direction a couple times at least, and then the other way. You can do more, you can do side to side, a couple of times maybe. Now we're gonna roll the shoulders back fully stretching out all the way up all the way back all the way back good feel that stretch all the way around your shoulder and come back down again good all the way open chest shrugging forward now and then arm circles Going forward and backward. Sometimes I like to also get smaller at my circles and keep them small. Then change direction again, small circles, and slowly get wider. And then I'm across, alternating left over right. Just kind of flapping and Hitting the sides of your shoulders, give a sl slight massage. You can also make closed fists. Good, and then upper body moves first. So rotating just the upper torso. And then the other way. Now, hips going around just the waist. And the other direction. Good, and then down to the knees, circling around. And the other way. And then into out. And then out in. Okay. And then right ankle. And rotate the other way. And I like to do this with, while trying to balance on the other foot too. All right? So you can even do it with the knee bent if you want to try that. And switch and go left ankle. Rotate a couple times. Full range of motion. You can go slow or fast. Try to get everything the other way. Okay, and you also can bend the knee up there too if you want to try that. Yeah, check it out. So that's basically all the joints from head to toe as a basic warm-up. When you're doing specific things like parkour or jiu-jitsu or some other types of training, maybe I'll do a little extra. So for example, if I'm doing, especially if I'm doing jiu-jitsu or parkour, I might want to warm my wrists because I didn't do that yet. <clears throat> or if I'm using weapons like Kali Eskrima. So I can do it dynamically, just rolling it out this way. In Aikido, usually we do kind of a static stretch to the wrist too. So like pulling it, grabbing the thumb out here, pulling across, same thing on the other side. 
and you do like kind of like a Z-lock grab and pulling towards you, trying to bring your pinky to your chest. And the other way too. Drawing the pinky to the chest by matching the back of your hand <clears throat> to the palm of your other hand. Yeah. And side to side pushing. Just kind of flexing the wrist that way. Rotate. Check it out. <clears throat> also get one of these kind of wrists, bending it downward too. Like that. I'm grabbing at these three fingers of my thumb, pulling it down, letting my elbow relax. <clears throat> So like this is sinking down and this is pulling down. So the wrist is bending. All right, so this, these are the main ones. And you also grab <clears throat> and turn your wrist out this way. I'm pulling with my three fingers here, pushing with my thumb. And same thing on the other side, grabbing, pushing. When I'm doing low stuff, especially parkour and other things, I like to kind of do this, bend my knees down and push them out. And you see this also stretches my back a little bit, just kind of bending. And I'll twist both ways to get this nice and loose. Putting my arms through and spreading it out. Put the knees in. Can also lean left and right. Kind of loosen up your hips, turning down. Alternating the left and right. And just pushing out the feet, turning again. Turning left and right. And back arch. Back arching. And back. And back arch. Left. And down. And lift. You can try. You can try on the hips and then kind of reach up. And breathing out. Every time I come in, I breathe in. And then coming down, breathing out. And that's another type of warm up, especially for me, it gets me loose to do all kinds of flips and stuff because I want to get my. My back pretty loose because I do a lot of twisting when I flip and kick. So I gotta warm that up because when I do back flips, I'm arching a lot before I tuck or I'm twisting and pulling or I'm kicking my leg. So another one I like to do for leg warm ups is kind of like grabbing my knee and then pushing through my toes and the other side, push. This is kind of some more active leg and hip stretches to warm up some active stretches. You can also do lunges, lunging down, turning at the waist here. You can put your hands together, either side. Normally people go the opposite way this way. You can do kind of both, getting that full range. Same thing on the other side. But you'll really feel the stretch when you go to the opposite, definitely feel it there. Yeah, yeah, good. Crawling is also a good one too for the um, like Spider-Man crawl. And then here. You could do that moving as well. It's kind of a good hip opener as well as get your arms involved. 
we call it QNM in parkour, quadrupedal movement, which is hands and feet movement. So you can do that while crawling. Forward and back. Forward and back. And if you switch it, forward, back. Similar to that, lizard crawl. Lizard crawl. So all those leg ones, you can do it very dynamically, moving left and right, side to side cows maybe too. Especially if you have like some resistance bands on your knees or ankles, that's a good one. Get this lateral stretch. Maybe just bending down and back and you'd switch, for example, down, back, down, back, and so on. All right, so just kind of getting that side stretch in there. And you can turn it up the foot. And same thing this side, side stretch. Bring up the foot, side stretch. Bring up the foot, side stretch. Toe up, side stretch, toe up. Side stretch, toe up. Yeah, and that's a good one to open up the legs and hips if you're gonna kick, or do anything with your feet. I hope those are helpful. Those are some of the short little warm ups that I like to do depending on the exercise. The first beginning one is what I do almost all the time, just loosening up everything head to toe. The other ones can be more specific or you can do them all the time anyway. You'll feel really loose by the end of it. So try them out, tell me what you think. Leave a comment down below. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications so you can know when the next video is coming out. Also, if you're a student or supporter and you like these shirts, they are available now below all the videos that you see here, as well as if you go to the store tab on my channel, you'll be able to pick up one for yourself. If you're just a fan or, or if you're a current student and you're taking in the program, then yeah, this is our uniform. There's also a smaller one with just a logo on the chest, like the pocket size. Make sure you check them out, pick up a pair, maybe two if you need a one for training and one to wash. For members, make sure you check the community tab. If I make another video with extra details, it'll be there. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.